After Comanchero World Commander's homecoming, deportation and arrest, his name has now been removed from Australia's most wanted list. The Big Hux, also known as Joseph Hakon Aik, has now replaced Mark Buttle and is now Australia's most wanted criminal. Born January 31, 1979, Hakon Aik is an Australian drug trafficker who allegedly has an estimated net worth of $1.5 billion. After Buttle's successful extradition, Australian authorities are confident that they can smoke out the rest of the criminals who are hiding in Turkey. The decision by Turkish authorities to not just deport Buttle but to lock him up and then physically put him on a plane and fly him to Australia has likely sent a chilling message to all Australians currently hiding out in Turkey. Aik has been hiding out overseas for 12 years, a dual Turkish-Australian citizen, he has changed his name to Joseph Race, and reportedly has altered his facial features through plastic surgery. He has renounced his Australian citizenship in a bid to avoid justice, believing Turkish authorities would be reluctant to extradite one of their citizens. It is also reported that he has now abandoned his glamorous Dutch wife, two young sons and home for an undisclosed location. Australian police previously confirmed that they have an Interpol red notice and an Australian arrest warrant in place for the Big Hux. The AFP believes AIC, who like Buttle spent time in Cyprus, is behind a criminal syndicate smuggling enormous quantities of drugs into Australia. AIC was last heard of in November 2010, when local Turkish media reported he had fled guards at a border crossing in Cyprus. He was arrested a month later by Cypriot authorities, who found him carrying drug production equipment and eight mobile phones. AIC was placed on bail, and fled again. AIC's expertise in drug trafficking, made him famous not only in Australia but worldwide. AIC is mentioned on official FBI list, on BBC, on CNN and he even has a dedicated Wikipedia page. As well as hiding out from law enforcement, he is in hiding from other criminals who were caught up in the encrypted app, Anom Sting of the Century. AIC is suspected of introducing entire encrypted communication platforms to Australia's underworld, which allowed criminals to send messages without fear of interception. When the first platform he introduced, Phantom Secure, was taken out by the FBI and Australian police in 2018, he got a new app named Cypher, together with Comanchero Marco Coffin. It was not long that Cypher was cyber-attacked and brought down, so the Big Hux finally sponsored the Anom app, which was sold to him by an undercover agent. AIC was a big supporter of these apps and loved their ease of use. AIC also encouraged other criminals to use the app, not realizing it was a Trojan horse and the police were secretly copying and reading the 28 million messages exchanged on it. Besides AIC, another big fish that is hiding in Istanbul and who authorities desperately want in custody is Duax Nakuru. New Zealand and Australian detectives have spent years tracking down Comanchero boss Duax Nakuru also known as Dax and his nephew Shane Nakuru as they coordinate drug trafficking network targeting New Zealand and Australia. Dax is a New Zealand citizen, he was born in Rotorua and grew up in Sydney where he rose through the ranks of the Comancheros. In 2010 Dax left Sydney to live in Turkey from where he has been importing large quantities of methamphetamine and MDMA into New Zealand and Australia. Dax along with Hassan Aik, were lieutenants to Como boss Mick Howie, they were operating crime syndicate for years as a well-oiled machine until 2018 when Mick was shot dead in Sydney South. In 2019, Shane was recorded messaging Dax and organizing methamphetamine to New Zealand, Melbourne and Perth from his base in Thailand. Other AIC associates hiding in Turkey are Barish Tukul, Erkan Yusuf Dogan, and Hakan Arif. The group was mostly believed to be living in and around the upmarket Istanbul suburb of Bestikas, close to Istanbul's famous Bosporus waterway, where AIC has been running the King's Cross Hotel. After Buttle's successful arrest, the AFP bosses confirmed to the media that they were working very closely with their Turkish counterparts to try to bring these people back home to face justice. They said it's a matter of time and no one can run from the law, 